So what is an OCO order and how does it work on KuCoin? OCO stands for one cancels the other and is a unique type of order that allows traders to place two separate orders at the same time. It combines limit orders and spot limit orders allowing only one of them to be executed while the other is simultaneously cancelled. Now before we show you guys how to set an OCO order, let's define what limit orders and stop limit orders are. Being one of the most popular order types for buying cryptocurrency, limit orders are used to purchase or sell an asset at a specified price or better. With buy limit orders, the order is executed at the limit price or lower, whereas with sell limit orders, it's executed at the limit price or above that. Limit orders are advantageous because they allow traders or investors to pay or be paid their specified price. Whereas there is one disadvantage that we see, which is that if that limit price is not met, then the order will not be executed. With stop limit orders, a stop trigger is combined with a limit order where a trader is able to set a minimum amount of profit that they are ready to realize as well as the maximum they are willing to lose on a trade. Once set, a trader just has to wait on the trigger price to be reached which will automatically set a limit order. Now let's show you how to set an OCO order on KuCoin which is one of the top five crypto trading platforms on the planet. The first thing you'll need to do is definitely log into your account. If you don't have one, it's a matter of clicking the link in our description, putting in your email, verifying it, setting a password and then clicking sign up. Now by using our link below, you get to be rewarded with a 10% discount on all your trading fees on the KuCoin platform for as long as you're a user. One of the major things we like about this platform is the fact that KYC compliance is optional, meaning that you can start using the platform immediately. Now once you're logged in, go to the trade option and select spot trading. Select your preferred crypto trading pair at the top. We'll go with BTC USDT and then select the OCO order which will be located in the bottom left corner with other order types. Four entry slots will appear, which are price, stop, limit, and amount. Price refers to your limit order and will be first visible on your order book. Set this number wherever you would like to exit your position and take a profit if the trade goes your way. Stop refers to the stop limit trigger price which, once the price of the asset reaches, will replace the regular limit order with the stop limit order. Traders usually place a stop trigger slightly higher or lower than the stop limit price just so the order can have time to be filled at the correct price. Limit refers to the price of the stop limit order and will reflect on your order book after the stop price is triggered. Set this number to wherever you would like to exit your position and realize a loss if the trade doesn't go your way. And then amount represents the value of your order. You'll be able to choose whether you want to make a sell order or a buy order. We'll be making a sell order so we'll set the price we want to sell at 21,000 USDT, the stop limit trigger price at 19,700, our spot limit order at 19,650 and our order will be all the available Bitcoin in our account. After that, We'll click sell and that's how easy it is to create an OCO order on KuCoin. You can click advanced orders to see or cancel your OCO order. The OCO feature is great in a volatile market because you're able to place a trade order that allows you to take a profit when things go your way or allows you to get out of a trade with a small loss when they don't. Its automated nature is advantageous for traders because it gives them some leeway to step away from an intense trading schedule without having to worry about what's going to happen in their absence. Now, if you're interested in using the OCO feature on KuCoin, go ahead and click the link in the description labeled OCO trading feature in order to access that page directly. Until next time.